Hey guys, so I'm recording this tutorial to show you how to get uh, your kitten kitty marching parade music playing in VR chat. So we need three things. We need the audio file, we need a media player, and we need a virtual audio cable. The media file obviously is the music. The media player obviously plays the music, and the virtual audio cable sends the audio that's being played from the media player through into a virtual microphone that VR chat is going to pick up on and will therefore you know play that music out to the glorious world of VR chat. Um, so the first thing, all the three links for the tools we're going to use are in the description, but the first thing we're going to need is the audio file. Um, so I've got it here, it will be a um, tiny URL in the description and we're going to download that and we'll just leave that there for now. The second thing we're going to need is VLC Media Player or your media player of choice. This is just the one I'm going to show you. Uh, we're going to you download that and install it just as normal. And the third thing we're going to need, which some people might not have, is the audio cable. Now, I personally like this vb-audio.com. Uh, again, links in the description. Uh, what we're going to do is on the main page. If we just scroll down and then hit download. Now, when that down, when we hit that and it downloads, it'll come into a zip. We extract that out, and we're gonna right click the 64, if it's, it's more than more than likely it's gonna be a 64-bit version. Um, right click it, run as administrator. And uh, I've already got it installed, but it would normally say install driver. And then two seconds later, it'll say restart your computer. So go ahead and do that, restart your computer. You, you need to restart your PC, by the way. So, now that you've restarted your computer, um, we can make sure that it's working. So without booting into VR chat, what we're going to do is we're going to open up VLC Media Player. And we're going to drag the music into the playlist, just like there. Then we're going to go to Tools, Preferences, Audio. And this will be set to Automatic, this output module. So it's going to be Say, change it to wave out audio output and we're going to select um, cable input this one here then we're going to hit save you, if you press play right now you shouldn't hear anything um, so for example I'm just going to show you quickly turn this off so if we hit play we won't hear anything but it is playing through that um, in fact, it might actually be in the video because OBS is capturing that audio source. Um, so what we're going to do is pause that. Now, to hear it through your own headset, now I can't hear it, but OBS will be, the, the software I'm using to record this will be picking this up. Um, so we can hit Properties, Listen. Listen to this device through whichever you, more than likely your headset. So we hit that and then apply, or well, whichever your headset is. I've got my name as headphones, but yeah. Right, okay, now if I listen to it again, there we go, we can hear. Okay, perfect. So, next thing we want to do is we're going to boot up VR chat. So. So I keep the listen on the headset just so that I know when it's playing and when it's not playing, so that when you're leading the raids on VR chat, you, you do know when your own music is playing. Just wait for this to load in. Okay, okay, so if we go into system, we want to make sure that microphone is set to cable output VB audio. And uh, this is up to you, really, but I set it to toggle voice and mic defaults on. That way I can just press V to make sure that it is going to play. Um, but that's pretty much it. Then if you want to switch back to your normal mic, you just select microphone and change it back to what your, whatever your normal mic is. Well, that's everything. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Enjoy the raids.